beautiful voice students and other people of the world who are watching this video because you want to work on your head voice. Yay for you. Today's going to be a great day. Head voice brings so many awesome things into our singing, including flexibility, agility, range, texture, awesome things to add to our singing. So I'm excited to talk about head voice with you today. So sometimes when we think of head voice, we think of a really, really soft, breathy, angelic kind of a tone. And while that may be head voice, a lot of us start there when we, when we get into head voice. We start with this really, really breathy tone and quality with our sound. And I don't wanna say that that's a bad thing. Some teachers would say never have any kind of breath when you sing. But sometimes we gotta have a place to start. And so if you're using head voice and it sounds really soft, it sounds really breathy, don't give up. We're gonna use some examples today. Some, some of you like that breathy kind of tone and it is very stylistic in contemporary music. So I'm actually gonna give you an example of that really breathy tone quality when we talk about head voice. Um, and then I'm gonna give you an example of a very strong present head voice where you don't hear any of that air passing through the vocal cords. So, without further ado, let's get started. So our first example is going to be the John Legend song, All of Me, which I'm sure most of you know. And I want you to be listening for head voice and for that breathy stylization of the head voice, which is a great place to start singing in head voice. So this is the chorus of All of Me. Cause I give you all breathy quality in the head voice. But uh, let me explain to you what's happening with your vocal folds when you sing in head voice. Now on this song, I wasn't actually that high. I was only up to a C. So if these are your vocal folds, voila, your fattest finger is going to be your fattest folds and your skinniest finger is going to be your skinniest folds. See how I did that? Ha <laughs> ha! So when you are using your chest voice, your fattest folds are the folds that are coming together. Right now, these folds are coming together. Now when I sing in head voice or talk up in head voice, these are the folds that are coming together. Okay? Now when I have breath, these are the folds that are coming together. That's super creepy, by the way. <laughs> but when I am using head voice and there is that breathiness, what's happening is that instead of these compressing all the time, there's actually air passing through them. And that's why you hear the air, okay? So it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm so happy that you're still using your skinniest folds up in head voice on these high notes. Because if you use your fattest folds up on those high notes, you're gonna have to put a stinking lot of strain on that really fat fold to get it to go as high as you want it to. Think of it as a guitar. When you use the fattest string to reach the highest note, you have to put so much strain on that string to get it up that high, instead of just going to the skinny string and hitting that high note that you want, okay? So, use your head voice. It is your friend. Our second example today is from the Scott Bradley arrangement of Bad Blood. So if you have heard this arrangement, the piano is incredible. My piano playing is less than incredible. So bear with me. What I want you to be looking for and listening for is that really, really clear, strong head voice. You won't be able to miss it. Band-Aids don't fix bullet holes. You say sorry just for sure. If you live like that, you live with ghosts. You forget. 
can hear in that example how much more presence, how much more volume, how much less breathiness there is in that tone than the first example with the John Legend. So after we have learned how to use our skinniest folds to sing high notes, the next thing that we want to do is make it so that no air is passing through those vocal folds so that we can get that strength in the head voice register. So I'm going to give you an exercise and we're going to be starting high actually and working low, but you know I'm going to tell you that sirens are also going to help you so much when you're working on head voice. You all the way up high into head voice. Those are so, so good for building the strength in those muscles. So we're gonna say yo, and we're gonna slide up and back down on a fifth, okay? So girls right here. And guys, if you can, if this is too high, then wait to come in. you to start up high. Think about using a siren. And then going into your exercise. That's a great way to get up there. Don't worry about the pitches. They don't always have to be perfect. We don't care about pitches. It's just an exercise, okay? So I hope that is helpful to you. For those of you who hate your head voice, stop hating your head voice. It wants to be your friend so much. And you're gonna put too much strain on your fat folds if you use them all the time to sing up high. So build the strength in that. Try to look for the clarity, clarity up in your highest notes. And the last thing I'm gonna tell you is that for those of you who kind of have a really good connection with your body and physically what's going on and where you feel the sound, look for that sound on the roof of your mouth. Really, really on the roof of your mouth is gonna give you that clear, clear head voice sound. So I hope that is helpful to you. Please email me right on the Facebook page subscribe, whatever you need. I want to help you. So let me know how I can help you if this isn't making sense or you just need extra help. Uh, my voice students, I will see you this week. Lessons are back in business. So I hope you've been practicing and singing in your head voice. Yay! I will see you all on Tuesday. Monday is Memorial Day, so have a good one.